Hello and good morning. This is Dell. Uh, I've been asked a lot about my UI uh, from the videos I've been posting about our boss fights. And I figured may as well just go ahead and make a video about it so let everybody can all see it and see what I do here. So um, I use a bunch of different add-ons to put this all together. I used to use one of those package add-ons like LVUI and a few others. There's always been either some setting I couldn't change or uh, a lot of extra add-ons that came with it that just ended up wasting memory and so I just figured I'm just going to do it myself and just configure a bunch of stuff uh, for my own uh, needs here. And so let's go ahead and take a look and I'm just going to show the basics. Um, there's going to be I use a lot more add-ons than what I'm going to show here but uh, I have a time limit on this video here so um, I'm just going to show the, the big stuff. So probably the uh, most noticeable one here is this big black bar at the bottom. This is done by an add-on called Skinner. And this is a very nice add-on. It's a uh, it's not just pasting this on the top of the screen. It's actually what it does is actually brings the viewport, you know, the bottom of the viewport up in this case, and it works kind of like a field of view slider. Um, and it ends up actually increasing the field of view, and I can demonstrate that. Let me pull up the controls here. So in the Skinner uh, controls, there's what's this group called modules. And we'll look at the viewport right here. And uh, what I'm going to do really quick here, I'm going to uh, bring the top down and while I'm doing that you can take a look at the sides and watch as the field of view actually increases here. So let me go ahead and slide this out and you know it's not moving the bottom at all at this point, it's just moving the top. You see it, you know, the sides are adjusting themselves based on where I'm putting the top here. And so it's very nice. It gives me more stuff to look at. And it's uh great as it also makes it convenient for putting the uh the stuff down at the bottom there. And you can also, you know, I can see this kind of fades a little bit here. Um, another little bit of aesthetics here. You can see kind of this box here in the middle where my my raid frames go. This is done, well it's actually called a frame here, a middle frame in this case. Um, let me open up another one here. And you can resize it, you can move it around. Um, I just use the one. You can use up to nine. Uh, but I don't know why you'd want to use that many, but you can if you want. Uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. And a lot of this really is just aesthetics. I like the way it looks. Some of it is for convenience. Um, it uh, moves stuff to where I want to have it. So I, especially on a boss fight, uh, I have stuff right in front of me, so I'm not staring at my action bar the whole time. Um, and uh, it's uh, so yeah. I'll let you know how all this stuff works here. Um, now, if you're using this for the first time. Uh, you may notice there's a long gray bar down here at the bottom. Uh, it's really annoying. It's hard to get rid of. Well, that is under UI frames and it is called the main menu bar. All you have to do to get rid of that is just uh, unclick this main menu bar skin and reload your UI and it'll be gone. Uh, took me a while to figure that one out, but it was rather a nuisance here. Next up, and oh, I guess I'm in combat. Um, will be the action bars as soon as I kill this bat here alright no money okay so um, I use uh, bartender for my my keybinds here and it's great it's, it moves them to where you want them it helps me condense them instead of having them all spread over the bottom and the, top, the right hand side here so you pull up this add-on and if I unlock it here it'll show you all the current active bars that I have, all the action bars. Um, I can have you know, the XP bar on here. Now, I have it on because I have a lot of lower level tunes. I'm still leveling up, so I keep an eye on that, but when you're max level, this automatically hides it for you. Um, there's the main menu bar I have on the top. Um, there's a pet bar, stance bar, there's totem bars for shaman. Uh, you know, the occasional boss fight that has you do a special ability. That's the extra action bar here. It even has a bag bar. Um, you can resize each of them. Go to the, my main bar here. I have this set to 0.8. You can go all the way up to 2 if you want to double size. You can uh, adjust the spacing between the buttons. You can you know, make it go vertical. If I you know, if you see it adjusting there. Um, you can center it uh, horizontally, vertically, whatever. Um, and also when you move them around, moving this bar over here, 
Watch as it snaps into place next to that one. So that's really great for positioning if you want them next to each other. And helps keep it uh, nice and neat there. And we lock that back up again. And up next, uh, over here in the bottom left hand corner is my chat box. Here we go. Uh, not much going on in local right now. But I use chatter for this. And once you do a lot of things, you can obviously resize the, this whole bottom left hand corner is my chat box right now. Um, you can put color for classes. Um, and you can adjust the font, things like that. Also gives you the ability to move the typing bar here. I have it right here in the middle. Uh, it's a nice and convenient for, spot for it. Uh, so I can still work on stuff while I'm typing to guildies or whatever. And uh, of course I have Scotto over here on the right and Recap next to it. I use both because they measure uh, com combat differently. I think one does it at the start of combat, the other one does it at when you actually start hitting something. I'm not sure which one is which. Um, but I just like getting a, an average between the two. And of course I have Omen here, which I probably don't need anymore. Uh, but I still use it just for kicks and giggles there. For my raid frames, I have that down here in the bottom middle. I use grid for that, and it's probably one of the more complex add-ons I use. There's lots of other minor add-ons that, that get attached to grid. I use a few of them, but uh, I have this set for uh, could do a full 25-man raid group in this box. Um, and it fits, uh, you can just of course resize it if you want it to fit differently. Um, there's a weird thing I haven't quite figured out, like when I go to like a 40-man raid, it bumps everything up here so it kind of covers everything in the middle. That's uh, something I'm still working on but uh, haven't really needed it lately. Um, and for my my health bar here, uh, also my target, target to target, focus bar, everything. Uh, that is one called Pitbull. Now Pitbull is one of those ones you can also use as your entire raid frame but I just use it for uh, my own personal uh, targets there. There's probably something out there that's better, but I've just gotten used to this, so that's what I use. Um, and it used to be that you could actually put uh, bus and, and target debus and stuff on there. I don't know if it's a bug or if I just haven't figured out how to turn it back on again, but um, I don't have other stuff for that anyway. And as I targeted myself, you probably noticed these green bars on my HUD here, or heads-up display. That is an add-on called Ice HUD. And you can do a number of things with this. You can make them straight up and down if you want. You can make them, you know, more or less transparent. Um, you can do, you know, everybody's health on one side and their power bars on the other side. I have my minion right here just on the inside there. And it's, this is excellent, especially I like to keep, I have some execute abilities when the boss gets to a certain health. And so it helps me keep an eye on that there as well. And of course there's other you know target information on here also, which I kind of have s mostly faded out because I don't really need that part. Um, and as far as other stuff I use, oh, up, uh, upper left hand corner is the my auras and, and raid bus. It's called Citrina Buff Frames. That's kind of a cool one. It lets you move them around and adjust what order they go in. If you want to just do timers. Um, and just the names of the bus, but you can move it around, you can make it go vertical, uh, you can space them out if you want, you can put them close together, resize them. I have my D bus a little bit smaller, um, so it's very nice. You can also um, use it to remove a uh, bus as well. I can turn my horn on, I can just click it off. Uh, so that's very nice and convenient there. Um, and speaking of bus, let me show you what I use for that. Uh, you probably saw that blew my horn. Uh, this blue bar showed up here. That is an add-on called Class Timer. This is excellent. I've been using this for years. Um, back when I, especially when I played a, Drew, a Feral Druid. Um, it helps you keep track of uh, your bleeds and dots and diseases. Let me pick this frog here and throw some diseases on him and show you what it does. Um, see his timer show up here. Of course he's going to die in a few seconds. But um, Also, I've, you know, I'll throw in Soul Reaper, another timed uh, ability there. And so yeah, it's great for helping keep an eye instead of having to, you know, have a stopwatch or anything. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, that's a great one there. And for... I do have also a, a cast bar add-on called Quartz. It's pretty simple. I... Uh, go ahead and do some fishing here really quick. I need my fishing pole. There it is. And... Let's do this here. Let me move this around. There we go. This my, I have my target uh, bar, cast bar up here, and my own is down here. So, yeah, it's great during combat. I can watch for when I need to do an interrupt. Um, so it comes very... And, yeah, it, it, by default, it has everything kind of randomly placed somewhere. So you, have to, you have to manually move it. Um, of course, I do have deadly boss mods, but I'm not fighting a boss right now, so I don't have it up. Um, and... Yeah, that's pretty much the basics of my UI. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to you know leave a comment below or uh, can ask me in the game. I'd be glad to answer them. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.